line chart gives information about the US cigarette price versus consumption from 1970 to 2006. To begin with, we can see that there are two categories in comparison, which are cigarette consumption and average retail price per pack. According to the graph for cigarette consumption, the highest number goes to 1980 with a figure of $32 billion, while the lowest number goes to 2006 with a figure of $18 billion. Last but not the least, for average retail price per pack, the highest number goes to 2004 with a figure of $3.9, while the lowest number goes to 1982 with a figure of $1.3. In conclusion, I think. Um, um, this is a negative relationship between the trend and the two lines. The line chart gives information about the, uh, um, the weekly number of iTunes purchase songs. To begin with, we can see that in the first 15 weeks, the sales number is being less than 10 million. According to the graph, the growth of the sale keep flat from week 10 to week 45, with a growth from 10, billion, 10 million to 50 million. Last one of the least, the sale figure increased dramatically after week 45 and reached a sale figure of more than 1,000 million. In conclusion, the number of purchase songs in iTunes has continuously increased with an increasing growth rate. The line chart gives information about the number of arrests per year for using illegal drugs from year 1991 to um, year 2005. To begin with, we can see that the number of arrests per year are ranging from 10 to 70. According to the graph, the lowest number of arrests per year goes to 1992 with a figure of 10, and the highest number goes to 2000 with a figure of 70. Last but not the least, from 1995 to 1998, the number of arrests keeps flat with a figure of 60 per year. In conclusion, after 1997, the number of arrests are fluctuating to 2005.
The line chart gives information about the average number of annual hospital visits per capita among Glasgow residents from 1960 to 2010. To begin with, we can see that the number of annual hospital visits per capita are ranging from 2 to 3.25. According to the graph, in 1960, there was only 2.25 visitors per capita, and the figure decreased in 1970 at 2.1 per capita. Last but not the least, the number of visitors increased from 1980 with a figure of 2.3 per capita to 2010 with a figure of 3.1. In conclusion, this is a very interesting graph, and in order to get more information, we need a further research on that. The line chart gives information about the coal production from 1960 to 2010. To begin with, we can say that there are two categories in comparison, which are net generation from coal and the share of total generation from coal. According to the graph, for net generation from coal, it grew in fluctuation from 1960 at 0.4 billion um, to 2008 at 1.8 billion, and decreased after that to the next increase in 2009. Last but not the least, for share of total generation from coal, it decreased in fluctuation from 1960 at 52% to 1970 at 43%, um, and kept fluctuating around 50%. In conclusion, um, there was no correlation between the trends of the two lines. If you don't want to miss these useful videos, Please subscribe the channel and click on notification icon. You'll get notified once a new video is uploaded. Please share with your friends and family if you think it's useful to them. And if you want us to make more videos on specific topic leave comments. And finally thanks for watching.